What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We are back out at the range. Today we are going to be testing out the Radiant Afterburner for the Glock 19X. We got Run It Tactical with us again today. Uh, we did previously go out to the range and test this thing, but unfortunately half my uh, video was corrupted. So we're back out here at the range and we are going to be testing the Radiant Afterburner. We got the 19X. We're going to shoot it without the Radiant Afterburner first. Uh, we're also going to check out, this is the Parker Mountain Machine Comp. Uh, the, I think it's the micro comp. We're also going to do side by side to see what the difference is between the Parker Mountain and the Radian. We are also going to compare it to a Glock 17. This is a Gen 3, it's not a Gen 5, but it's a good comparison because once you put the Radian afterburner on, it becomes the length of a 17. So we're going to figure out should you go with the longer barrel or go with the 19 and the comp? This feels good, bro. I need a 45, like you said, man. What am I looking for? Ready? Yep. Eight rounds. No radium. feels good no matter what so uh let's throw in that radian real quick and let's see how she feels then this is how she looks with the radian all right we're gonna we're gonna see if there's a difference hopefully the hype is real <laughs> last time i couldn't tell last time I couldn't tell the difference, but right now you could see the difference instantly with that. We got 115 grain. Here in a minute, we're gonna do some 124. It's not, it's not as good as I thought it would be, but it is really noticeable. Uh, it feels softer in the hand. Uh, the recoil, the muzzle rise is a little bit less and you can track your red dot a little bit better. So. Honestly, so far, I think it's a good investment. 400, it's kind of steep. There are cheaper options out there, but with this, it's easily, you can take it off, clean it, very easy. There's no uh, Loctite, there's no timing it. It's very quick and easy, and it's legal in all 50 states. So that definitely has a big uh, impact on what you get. But so far, uh, we're gonna shoot some more, but I'm loving it already. God damn. Okay. Damn, okay, son. Where'd okay. you find this? That's exactly why I want to get the 45 Yay. and throw the 45 slide on here. Look at the color of that. Hey, man, y'all gonna tell me that ain't hard right there? God. So here we got the uh, Parker Mountain Machine uh, Cop, Micro Cop, SRO. And uh, it's on top of the 19X. So we're gonna see if we can feel a difference between the Radian and the Parker Mountain. So, all right, same 115 grain. All right, here we go. That's bullshit. The Parker Mountain is definitely like, Thanks, sir. Yeah, 100%. Why is it doing that? Why, how is it? Hey, it could be that port though. Like, cause you know, it's just got one single port. Yeah. Instead of the, but, the, dual, the dual ports, yeah. yeah. I don't know, uh, but I can tell you 100% that was, the dock did not leave the window. Now, and it could be that's the SRO, yeah. it's a bigger window. It could be that. But it felt soft. Too. I don't you. know, it could be that, I don't know. Maybe. 
soft. It feels softer. I told you over there though that Parker Mount, it, it feel like it was a little softer. It did feel a little softer. Like like you're not shooting a nine millimeter. Like you're shooting 380 or something. Mm -hmm. That um, man, Parker Mountain. So far, we're gonna get some more shots through it, but so far. It's definitely softer. All right, I just wanted to hop in here real quick. Uh, it, during editing, it looked like I was giving the Radian a little bit of a harsh review. It was mainly because I was comparing it to the PMM comp and not as like, hey, does the Radian work? Does it do a good job compared to stock? Because it definitely does. The Radian works very well. It was just, I was comparing it to the PMM comp. And in my opinion, at the time, the PMM comp felt a little bit softer. There was a lot of things at play though. Now that I've reviewed it, uh, the SRO could have been a big factor. The window's bigger and it may have made me feel like the dot wasn't moving as much. The slide that the PMM was on was milled and it was a little bit lighter of a slide compared to the 19X slide. So there's lots of factors that were at play. The Radian definitely works very well as you can see on video. I love the Radian Afterburner and I'm super happy with my purchase. I was just expecting a little bit more at the time because the hype of the Radian was so big and uh, I just was a little bit over excited, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if it's the parking lot come or the light. Oh, the light gave it a, bit, a big difference. Is yeah, that what no, you're saying? Yeah, yeah I'm saying that's, it was flatter now. Bro. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. That's why, because whenever you put that light on, I just shot it. It was like the you dot never left. The light. That's right, right there. All right, we're going to run this Glock 17 real quick and uh, see what the difference is between the Glock 17 and the Glock 19X with the comp. Yeah, I do like the 17. Huh. That was, uh, it was unexpected. Oh, no, yeah. Big difference? Yeah, that's a hell of a difference. I mean, obviously, but, yeah. Uh, so we are going to run it first with the Glock 19X with Radiant Afterburner. Boy, if you don't get We're gonna run a build drill, six rounds. Uh, I'm not gonna run it as fast as I can pull the trigger. I'm gonna run it as fast as I can comfortably put shots on target. All right, here we go. It did good. Yeah, I can definitely clean that up. I mean, you also gotta look at it, man. This is like 12, 12 inch by 18. That's also a smaller yeah. target, too. So, yeah. Mine was 311. Ooh. What the hell, bro? You good? Let me see what the first shot was. First shot was 143 and 33 on the split. 36. That was my first time ever doing a build. You did good. Right, here we go. One more time. All right, 289. Got it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's nice. Let me see. So 234. Yeah. I'm gonna have to adjust the, uh, let me see, make sure I didn't loot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. Am I missing one? You got two and one. Oh, okay, there we go, yeah, yeah. That's uh, oh, right here, look at this. The paper's burnt just a little bit right there. <laughs> you going to jail. Yes, you going shot, to motherfucking right. jail. Hey, we're gonna cut that out. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna run it now with the Glock 17 stock, and we're gonna see if uh, we don't shoot somebody in the back. All right, let's try this out. I'm definitely gonna have a slower time. Or in the pinky, too. 
Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right, here we go. I thought it would. The 17th longer barrel though, man. But you can see the shots opened up just a little bit more. Right, right. Let's make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 17. So you didn't miss. I did, I, I did hit, I hit them all. Let's see, that was a 331 split 32. So far, I feel like there, this is gonna be bad to say, but I'm feeling like what I just did just then, I didn't see a huge difference with the radiant afterburner compared to a stock 17. Uh, so, because I, I, you know, I barely was a little bit slower, but all my shots were on target. I don't know guys, what do y'all think? I'm gonna let y'all do the uh, determining on was it worth it? We're gonna let him run a drill real quick and then that is gonna be it. So. Let's get loaded up. There's an AR round down here. All right, uh. What? So I guess I'm gonna just do low ready, right? Yeah, you can just do low ready. Hang up. So there should be 24 shots here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, uh, and then the 24 right here. Uh, so yeah, you got all shots on target? I mean, I ain't come out the host, so I should have had it. Woo! Hey, I ain't shot with irons, just pure irons in a minute. Right, surprisingly, man, it's it's no, it's I mean, pretty good. This feel like my 21, honestly, so. I'm, I haven't I'm, shot, the, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I know you. Yeah, he did that on purpose. Uh, he actually told me before he was gonna do it. Nah, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> One, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I think you pulled one. What? Hey, comment down below if y'all see the rest of them shots. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna freeze this real quick. And uh, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna see. Uh, I probably did pull a man, gonna lie. So what do you think about the Radiant Afterburner altogether? What's your opinions on it? Uh, I think it is a... I think it's a good person. I feel like somebody that can already... Um, I feel like that would just escalate their skill set a tad bit more. See, when people be getting these things, man, like the XC, the Radiant, the Park Amount, people be thinking, like, if I go get this, this is going to make me, like, yeah, wick or, you yeah. know, Rambo and all that. Like, you got to put the, the work and the fundamentals in. So, for yeah. me, I think that is a good setup, especially for my skill set, because y'all just seen what I did with the 17. So, uh, but I, I think it's a good purchase. Uh, one thing we did notice a big difference is when we put the light on here, it was just night and day, uh, night and day difference. Uh, but as far as recoil control, you de you notice it, it's softer. It's definitely softer, but it's not like ginormously crazy thing. So don't think you're going to be able to put the radiant on there and you're just going to be a better shooter and you're just going to be able to go out there and compete. The Radiant only makes people that already have good gun fundamentals, shooting fundamentals, just a little bit better. It makes their job a little bit easier because the dot doesn't leave the window. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I will catch you guys on the next one. We have more videos coming, so y'all stay tuned. Uh, hopefully next weekend, I'm going to be taking Run It to the Range and destroying my camera. <laughs> I gotta redo the take real quick. Son of a bitch.